listening to Vibe Radio with me, Harry. Hello. I'm Ebony. And today we're joined in the studio by a very special guest, Pete. Hello, Pete. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Good. We hear you're doing the London Marathon, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yes. Very nice, very exciting. I am excited, yeah. Well, what inspired you to do it then? Well, it's, uh, it's a worthy cause, um, running for livability and uh, Vic Victoria School as I knew it, but a Victoria Education Centre as I believe it's now, now known. And it, uh, it was also a long-standing goal of mine to, to run a marathon. I thought whilst I was still fit enough and young enough, uh, I, I'd have a go at it. So, um, yeah, two reasons really. Yeah, sounds very nice. And you're looking forward to it? I am looking forward to it. I'm excited and doing things like this uh, really brings it home that um, I, I'm, it's a big challenge and um, everyone else is excited and that certainly rubs off. So, yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, good, good. Everybody? Right, what, what made you choose to raise money for livability, Victoria? Well, you may or may not know that uh, my my mum, Carol Sammons, worked in the physio department for a long time, a really long time. Uh, and over the course of her, her, her job when she was here, um, I'd come in and visit if, if, I, uh, if, I, had a, uh, if I was perhaps uh, having a day off uh, school or one of your school events. Um, so I actually spent quite a lot of time here over the years. I've used uh, your swimming pool as well. Um, so I've, be, I've been, here, been here a lot and obviously I, I've had first-hand experience of seeing uh, the great work that's done here. So um, to raise money for a, a good cause that I can actually relate to. Yeah is uh, really important and it means I could, when someone says who are you raising money for I can say well I'm raising for money for a, for a great cause I've seen it I've seen it I've not just been there once or twice I've been there hundreds of times um, so I, I really feel that I've made a connection and, uh, and that helps when you're trying to encourage people to put their hand in their pocket and give you money <laughs> <laughs> I've done quite a lot of um, charity stuff Oh. As well, I've d this year I'm doing a skydive for the Sparkle Appeal. No way. And uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is brave. Extreme. <laughs> that is extreme. <laughs> Pushing it to the highest limit. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Bikes are now flying out of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big jump. I gather you have run a half marathon before. How did it go? Uh, I, I have. I ran a half marathon about 12 months ago um, in Salisbury and it went, it was my first one, it went quite well. I was trotting along at my own pace thinking, well I don't feel too bad, slowing down and speeding up just as I, I felt and then I was, I was getting towards the end or, or perhaps two thirds of the way around I thought well, actually I'm quite feeling quite good, I'm going to run a, a little bit faster and I overtook this, this, this bloke and I said, uh, I'm trying to beat an hour and 40 minutes, how am I doing? And he goes, well, you're going to beat that easily. And so that really gave me a little bit of extra motivation to run a little bit quicker. And um, I, I ran it in an hour and 30 minutes. So I was really pleased with that first time. Um, I haven't done one since, but I have got another one on Sunday as part of my marathon preparation. So. Nice. Nice. So that, that all involves a lot of training then? It does involve a lot yeah. of training. It involves going home from a long day at work, you know, you're looking at outside, it's cold, it's wet, it's really, you're tired, you've not had your dinner, you're thinking, yeah. oh no. Horrible. Yeah. And, and the weather, obviously the weather's been quite bad, has that affected it at all? It has, it has actually. It, it, it really tests your motivation on those days when the weather's bad, it's, mm -hmm. it's raining, there's been a lot of flooding around Salisbury, um, so I try and run off-road a little bit, it gets very, very muddy, uh, and it does really test your motivation, but um, last, last weekend uh, I was out running and I had to hurdle two trees that were all the way across the <laughs> road, so the road was completely shut, and I thought, well, 
Oh my god. There's, there's, yeah. uh-huh. There was no way around it. I had literally yeah. had to climb straight over the top of them. So we'll uh-huh. be seeing you in the Olympics for the 110 meter hurdles then. <laughs> 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 yeah. Maybe for veterans. Maybe for veterans. <laughs> Are you worried about completing a full marathon? I am a little bit worried. Yes, it's it's a long way. Um, I've run. I've walked. I've walked long distances before. Uh, and in my training at the moment, I'm up to about 16 miles, so it's quite a long way. But it it does it does you do get lots of aches and pains. So 26 miles, another 10 miles on top of the first distance I've been so far. Mm. I am a little bit nervous, yeah. But I'm, I'm sure with a little bit of extra training and uh, everyone all the crowds and there'll be uh, that'll spur me on on the day. A lot of noise from the crowds, I expect. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Well, it's it's. I think one of the few marathons where they've got people literally lining the streets from the start to the finish, and mm. for 26 miles, that's a that's a lot of people. We'll be supporting yeah. you all the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That, that that does mean a lot. Honestly, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ebony, have you got another question? Um. Yeah. Um. How will you cope with the and f- famous war with you hit it during the marathon. Well, I've heard about the wall, and hitting the wall is not something I really want to do. No, don't bring anyone with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what what I'm really hoping is if I train hard, I eat properly on the day, I drink properly on the day, mm-hmm. I don't get overexcited and fly out of the traps and go too quickly, that I, you know, the honest answer is I hope that I don't actually hit the wall. I know a lot of people do, and I might be being naive, but that, that's what I'm hoping. So uh, I, I, it sounds horrible, so I, I'm trying to avoid it. Yeah, <laughs> hope you do avoid it. Yeah. Have you had to give anything up to complete this ma- um, marathon? Oh, wow. Well. I, I do drink a bit less. I, I drink a few few less beers and um, I, I have cut that down because you just you just don't as, as soon as you've had a glass or you've had a couple of pints or you've had, you've been out with friends uh, for a nice evening, the next day you don't want to be running fifteen or fifteen miles or so, that just adds to the pain. So mm-hmm. it has probably caused me to cut that down. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it has it has caused uh, it has um, caused me to give give up give up that a little bit anyway. And eating habits as well. Have you had to change anything to do with that? Well, a little bit. To get the energy to be able to run, you need to have the correct balance of carbohydrates to give you the energy to run, protein mm. to repair your, your muscle cells, etc. So um, I have looked into that. I like to think I've had a pretty healthy diet anyway, actually. Yeah. But maybe I eat a little bit more to make sure I've got the energy and a mm. little bit more of the right stuff. Um, yeah. But um, I certainly uh, am quite comfortable in eating a cake or two these days yeah, because I can't I'm, go wrong with cake. No, because I know I'm going to burn it off. <laughs> no, you can yeah. never go wrong with cake. You gotta love the cake. Um, yeah. I actually also go running really with, love the cake. with jelly, jelly bellies, jelly, jelly beans. Bread. So when I actually go out on a long run, I take a pocket full of those <laughs> All right. just to gobble on the way around, and, yeah. and they give me a little bit of a boost on oh, the way yeah. around too. So, yeah. yeah. Extra boost. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Ebony. Mm. <laughs> Do you have a time that you would like to complete? Yeah, you know, I do, but I don't know whether it's realistic. Um, what is the time? I'd like to do it in around three and a half hours. What? If it's less than four hours, that would be acceptable, but three and a half. That's realistic, I imagine. Well, I hope so. Because my brother's done half a month, and then that... He finished that quite quick. Yeah. So. Well, I hope I'm as fit as your brother. Mm-hmm. Um, and Look at. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good of you to say. Good of you to say. 
Uh, I, I, I really don't know. It's the first one that I've done, so I don't really know what to expect. I think there are so many runners as well. There'll be the really quick ones, of which there'll be a small percentage. There'll be the really, really slow ones, of which there'll also be quite a small percentage. And then there'll be that middle period of time that probably I'll be in, that most other people will be in. So if the crowds are really big, I might have to be... I might have run, end up running more than 36 miles if I'm zigzagging all the way down the course. Well, you never know. <laughs> I, th I think they have markers on the, on the ground to show they you the, quick, the most efficient route to go. So stick to that then. They do. Well, we'll see. I you know. never I've, had, I've done that. How was your mindset for this race? Well, it's positive. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, the training, as part of the training I've got, I'm running in the Bath Half Marathon on Sunday, this Sunday coming, so I am pretty fit and looking forward to that. Um, as part of the, 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 the training that I'm doing, which, which means that I'm probably exercising three, four or five, typically five times a week at the moment. Um, so that's going okay. I'm relatively niggle free. I've got a few rugby injuries, so I've got a few aches and pains here and there, but um, I I'm doing okay so far, and it's only five, six weeks away, and uh, so I'm positive and looking forward to it, actually. Exciting. Yeah. Mm. Ebony, we believe you have some tips. Right, yeah, before we go, we put together some tips we want to uh, remind you to do, Pete. Yeah. And first, is we got Harry's tip, which is um, remain hydrated. Remain hydrated. Right, hang on, I'm going to get a yeah. pen out for this. Yeah. I'm going to take these down. Note it down. Yeah. One. Keep drinking. Is that is that any sort of drink, Harry? Well, no. I, I <laughs> guess I guess not. It could be a bit risky otherwise. Uh, you don't you don't you don't you don't mean alcohol do you? Well no. No, okay. That would be bad drinking alcohol. Okay, remain hydrated, yeah. not alcohol. Understood. No. Very good, that's down. Um Ooh. and then the next one, Connor said don't set off too quickly. Pace yourself. Yeah, I think that's a really good one. Yeah. I think and I can say that myself too quickly myself. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I could do that. I could get really excited on the start line. Yeah. Same. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Same. what I go. I start off too fast as well, and then yeah. Keep, so start at an even pace. Yeah. Mm. By looking at the start line, when you see it on the TV, there's obviously thousands of people there, so you don't really get a chance to go too fast. But that's that's only what it looks like. Oh. But I don't know whether it is. No, I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good one. Right, next one is from Patrick. He's not here. He's gone out for today. And he says, if you feel like giving up, remember what you're doing it for. Yeah. Well, there's bound to be some, some tough times, I would imagine. It's, uh, it's a long way, it's a long time. It is going to hurt uh, a, a little bit, but I think... Um, yeah, as he says, focus on the focus on what I'm doing it for. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a, yeah, that's a good one too. Good. The next one is from me, my dad. Um, I put. You're doing. Keep your energy levels up. Yeah, up keep your this. energy levels up. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm going to take some of those jelly bellies with your <laughs> jelly beans. Pocket fulls of them, yeah. you know, as long as they don't weigh me down. Mm. I, I took chocolate with me. Chocolate? Chocolate mm. on a race. Mm. Oof. Oh. 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 I might have to consult my, nutrition, my nutritionist on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do like chocolate, but uh, I may stick to, stick to that. I'll, I'll wait for that until after the race is finished. Mm. Um, the last one is mm. from Liam. He's a trip well. He put rem remain a good sportsman. Yeah. Well, m the, the aim for me on this one is 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 to, to come out in one piece. So uh, I think it's a great day, and people are really happy to be there. And 
it's, it's a great atmosphere. So yeah, I think the camaraderie between runners I'm, I hear is really really good. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that'll definitely be on uh, on my horizon. Yeah. And there'll be no there'll be no shoulder charging as we uh, running down the no. mile to to, to no. finish in front of somebody else. No, yeah. no. That won't be good. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good sportsman. No. I'm sure, it'll be a good atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's most important. Well, thanks, Pete, for um, putting your time towards this, and thank you, everyone, for listening. Good yeah. luck. Thanks for having me. Them, and on Sunday, too. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to keep up your energy. No, thanks for the tips, guys. Thank you. Thanks very much.